Oh, cry a river, cry me a river. What you want, what you want, baby, just... Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. I got a late start this morning because I was up really late last night because I have some unfortunate neighbors. <laughs> I'm basically starting off the day with uh, brunch, except it's really lunch because it's late in the day. <laughs> so guess what I'm having? That's right more barbacoa. Today I thought I'd try to make nachos out of it because I had tacos yesterday, so try and keep it fresh. I'm starting with a mini brick of Velveeta for my nacho cheese. I can feel some of you judging me already. <laughs> I know that this is terribly unhealthy, but it's the best kind of nacho cheese. You just got it sometimes. So I tried to put it in for 45 seconds and accidentally apparently hit 45 minutes. So it got a little bit crispity, crunchity on the top, but um, there's some salvageable stuff here. And no, I did not cook it for the whole 45 minutes. It was only about a minute and 15 seconds. I don't know about you, but I think these are the best tortilla chips in the world. Add some tomato. The other half of yesterday's avocado. Of course, the barbacoa, some sour cream, and of course, my favorite part, the lime. <laughs> okay, this had to be a sit down uh, taste test. Let's see if we can get a little bit of everything on here. Mm. It's good. The nice part about this is that it really tastes completely different than the tacos, even though it's basically the same ingredients. It like transforms them just being on a chip. So it doesn't feel like I'm eating the same thing over and over. And I've gotten to the point where I basically have to use a fork for the rest of my nachos. It's such a disappointing feeling. My best friend and I went to um, Disneyland earlier this year. We've gone before together. There's this little uh, restaurant that has nachos and we used to, every time we went, we used to go down and get the chicken nachos. And this last time we got those chicken nachos, those are the best nachos I've ever had. But I've never had barbacoa nachos before. I've never had nachos that weren't either just cheese or chicken. So this was a pretty good experiment, I would say. Um, I can understand why people eat this. <laughs> Clearly it was terrible. That's it for today. I'm getting close to the date that my parents' quarantine is up. I'm gonna go down and, and quarantine with them so that I'm not just here by myself. I have a lot of packing and planning to do for that. But uh, I hope that you are finding ways to repurpose old things or Try something new with what you have, whether it's food or something completely different in a creative, creative endeavor. Um, and I hope you smiled today and I will see you soon. Bye.